Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Where were you on May the 10th? I'll always remember this day because it was the day I was born. But seriously, chances are if you live in the UK, Europe and even the rest of the world that you would have been hearing or talking or seeing the Northern Lights. Today we're going to be discussing what are the Northern Lights and why are they significant to us? What can we learn from them? Let's get started. Before we begin, don't forget you can download my free printable planner on www.cupofparenting.com slash planner. So on the 10th of May, people across the UK where I live were really, really excited about a really rare phenomena. Now you might have even heard of the Northern Lights before and this is a visible curtain that you see of lights it's also called the aurora so the northern lights are a vibrant curtain of light seen in the night sky they range from greens to pinks to scarlet in color and it's quite a beautiful thing to behold if you can see it with your eyes they're caused by charged particles from the sun interacting with gases in the earth's atmosphere and usually we don't see them especially not in the uk because of the light setting and the visibility of them are quite low so even if they're there a lot of the times you can't actually see them with the human eye because of this powerful solar storm this led to a stunning and really rare display of the northern lights across the uk on this particular night and the rest of europe as well and lots of people all over social media and on the news were sharing photos and pictures of this phenomena because it was quite beautiful and sometimes people travel all the way to Iceland to be able to see them and they pay a lot of money and here it was in people's backyards. So what can we learn from the Northern Lights and why were they so significant? First of all, the majesty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation. We can see by the recordings and by the reportings just the magnitude of how beautiful the lights were and you can see it in the pictures as well and when you look at the universe and when you look at nature you are in a sense reflecting on what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created and the proof of the greatness and the might of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as well and this should you know increase your iman as well of Islam and increase your faith and increase your certainty that if such a big phenomena can happen by the creator then what is it that the creator is not capable of doing subhanallah there is a call to look at this universe repeatedly in the book of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the quran and you know in different verses in the quran it says to look at different parts of allah's creation to ponder on them and if a person looks at these kind of you know bits of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation and reflects on the wisdom of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the brilliance of the design you know it's Think about how beautiful the design was. People paint pictures, people use photography and modern technology to try and create beautiful images such as these that we were seeing naturally on that night. This will increase a person's faith and certainty and he will be rewarded for, for reflecting in this manner. A second thing we can learn is to do with patience and persistence. So we were lucky where we live um, in the northern part of England because the lights were quite visible and the seaside quite close to us on which we go there regularly um, in the evenings but I don't think I've ever seen that many people. I think there were 200 people congregated in this particular spot where I go regularly and there's actually nobody usually there at that time subhanAllah. There's also a group of people who go to try and observe the northern lights and they, they let people know in a group when you can and when you can't but this is one of those things subhanAllah even if people knew they were happening so they said that they would be visible even on, either on that Saturday but hopefully on the Sunday till half an hour an hour before there was no guarantee you'd be able to see them you can't predict the clouds coming in and the cover the, of, of visibility the fog coming in especially on places open places like the seaside and subhanAllah this taught us about patience why because even we were there the second day there were so many people just silently waiting in the cold in the hopes that they would see this phenomena this beauty um, again and you know as a Muslim we are encouraged to be patient all the time it's one of the good characteristics to have and it just made me think about if people were so patient patiently waiting to see this phenomena even the second day when actually in the end it wasn't visible for most people that how patient should we then be in our real life for all of the issues that we have or all, all of the wants and desires that we have that we make dua and sometimes we're so hasty we just don't have the patience because we live in a fast-paced society to sit and just wait for the right thing to happen 
all for, for whatever to happen from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and accept that. But on this night, people were being really patient because they knew that something is coming. It just, we're not sure when we're going to see it. We're not sure if we're going to see it. So this is something else that we learn. Another thing to learn um, related to this, another thing to learn related to patience is, you know, the idea of it happening if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was going to will it to happen. Otherwise, it wasn't going to happen. So there were so many people who woke up the next day and they missed it and they were just so upset about it. It was all over social media. So me myself, I was sitting in my living room and I heard the phone ping, ping, pinging and I went and had a look and I thought, what's going on? And it was my siblings messaging me because they knew I lived close to um, the spot where it was very visible asking, did you go to see it? You always go there. And SubhanAllah, I hadn't planned to go there that night, but because there were so many messages coming in, I thought, let's go and have a look what it is because I hadn't read the news that day. So I wasn't even aware that it was happening. However, there was... SubhanAllah, so many more people who woke up the next day and they were absolutely gutted because something had happened right close to them, you know, on top of their roofs or they could have just looked out the window. But the point is, a massive event happened. People were either unaware of it or they were just sleeping because that was, you know, it was the night time, wasn't it? It was around about half past ten. So people might have gone to bed and they wouldn't have thought about it. So from this that we can learn that sometimes things might pass you by sometimes it might be something that is so close to you yet it's not within your reach subhanallah and it's not it's not meant to be for you to witness that thing or for you to attain that thing and you have to believe that you have to believe that and believe that allah knows better in different situations what different people according to what they want or according to what they need what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to give them a further lesson we can learn is to do with reflection and contemplation so a lot of people said and and you know people who were there were saying this i heard them and, and again online people were saying that they felt quite emotional looking up at the sky and this seems like something related to the human fitra you know a natural inclination from inside that they're looking at the vastness of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation and even i got this feeling you know it's the night time you look up you realize the magnitude of the sky and what's going on and the fact that you're just a tiny little being in this in the world and subhanallah it just puts into perspective that there is a creator out there and there's there's lots more out there except for you and just the size of the universe and some people said that they just just the fact that it's so mysterious and you look up at the night sky and it's you know it's dark it's serene and it just makes you emotional and it, and, and people were being emotional even people who are muslim said that they felt just a, a connection an emotion that an overwhelm and this is what happens again when you reflect on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beauty but also when you acknowledge or at least from inside subconsciously you acknowledge that there is a creator out there that you're just a small part of the creation again this is a chance for you to think about this reflect on this ponder on this and also discuss it with your children as well about the significance of it and you know the significance of us in the dunya and why we're here and the creator and our role in the dunya subhanallah and by doing this you can put your problems into perspective and again i always say this i'm not saying that pretend your problems don't exist but sometimes in the grand scope of things when you're going through a hard time and you're going through difficulties and problems you might magnify those problems because to you it might feel like they're massive and it's the end of the world but look in the bigger picture of your life of the world of the dunya in which you live look at other people are your problems as big and as worse as what you think they are or are people and situations out there which are worse than yours if you think about and accept and acknowledge how massive the dunya is so this should inshallah help you put your problems a little bit into perspective and just come back to that um notion of being patient of pondering and of asking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for dua continuously you know it's, a, it's also a chance for us to go out and seek knowledge and find out a bit more knowledge on various different aspects especially from islam as well there's so much for us to learn and if you found this useful why not watch the next video on the importance of seeking knowledge inshallah i'll see you next time assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh